Hi, this is Brad Brain, Portfolio Manager with Aligned Capital Partners. We're here in beautiful Kananaskis, Alberta, and I'm here with Alec McIsaac, who's a Portfolio Manager with Antares Investment Management. So Alec, one of the big questions that clients have as they enter into retirement is, are they going to have enough? Are they going to be okay? Tell us how Antares approaches that. Well, that's a great question, and uh, there's no simple answer, but if I were to simplify it, one thing is, uh, one of the things that we focus on first and foremost is protecting our investors' capital, because um, we've seen so many examples historically of people who've lost their money. Rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two? Don't forget rule number one. There you I've go. got that on my office wall. Yes. So, um, protecting capital is obviously it's paramount, but it might not be enough. So, what are you doing to grow their capital? You're right, there's two sides of the coin, right? Preserving capital is one side, the other side is growing capital. So what we do to grow capital is, well, we keep things kind of simple. We think like business people, not speculators. So we look to own businesses. So we look in the stock market for real businesses that generate profit, that don't take too much debt, that run the businesses kind of like we run our own households, carefully. And if we find companies at a fair price that are growing their businesses, uh, we will make money in the stock market over time and therefore achieve growth for our clients. Good stuff. Now one of the questions I've been getting a little bit lately is marijuana stocks. How do you view marijuana stocks as an investment? Um, I spend very little time on marijuana stocks and there's a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is that none of those companies make money. So when I said a moment ago we look for businesses and analyze them like business people, they just don't pass muster. So if you look at them, uh, there's so much of that that reminds me of speculative investment uh, bubbles of history. Uh, you, you see all kinds of promoters pushing these stocks. It reminds me um, of, of a train many people have gotten on before that ends in a crash. We don't have time for that in our portfolios. Wise words. I think <laughs> as a characteristic of a business goes, making money might be one of the things that you It's not say. a bad thing to do, you know. Right. Yeah. So, from beautiful Kananaskis, Alberta, this is Brad Ring.